Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on pertussis, also known as whooping cough. Pertussis is an acute tracheal bronchitis that begins with mild upper respiratory tract infection (URTI) symptoms, followed by severe paroxysmal cough. It can occur in all ages, but 90% of the cases, which is most of the cases, will occur in children less than 5 years old. Pertussis is a highly contagious and notifiable disease, and it is caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. The incubation period of pertussis is around 7 to 14 days. The symptoms may persist for very long, which is 10 to 12 weeks. Hence, it is also called as the 100-day cough, where the cough lasts for around 3 months. It is most contagious during the first two weeks of coughing, and in very young infants, such as those less than 3 months old, they can present with recurrent attack of apnea and cyanosis after coughing. The symptoms can be divided into three stages, which are the cataral stage, paroxysmal stage, and the convalescent stage. So first, the cataral stage can last for 1-2 to two weeks, and the symptoms are chorizo symptoms such as runny nose, conjunctivitis, which is red eyes, and also malaise. And the next stage will be the paroxysmal stage, which is the longest duration. It can last up to 3 months, hence the 100-day cough, which is a commonly known name among the community. And there will be paroxysms or spasmodic cough, followed by an inspiratory whooping sound and apnea. So this paroxysm or spasmodic cough is a series of hacking cough without taking breath in between the cough. And this pattern of cough is needed to dislodge the plugs of the necrotic bronchial epithelial tissues and also thick mucus which are formed. So they are followed by a characteristic inspiratory whoop, which is due to the forced inspiration against the closed glottis. Postassive emesis is also a common symptom where there is vomiting, of the ingested food or the thick mucus. And other symptoms are like facial congestion after the paroxysmal coughing and also cyanosis of the infant. So infants may not have the whoop, but they often have apnea noted after the coughing spasm. So it is an important symptom to note as well, important sign to note. The third stage is the convalescent stage which lasts 1 to 2 weeks. The residual cough persists for months, especially with physical stress or respiratory irritants. And then the coughing will become less severe and the paroxysms and whoop will slowly disappear. To diagnose pertussis, it is a mainly a clinical diagnosis, especially if there is a typical paroxysmal cough and also lymphocytosis noted on the full blood count. And pertussis can be confirmed if there is an isolation of the Bordetella pertussis from the nasopharyngeal secretion. For investigations, can do nasal swab or sputum for culture. Full blood count will show marked lymphocytosis. And nasopharyngeal aspirates can be used for agglutination or serology tests, direct fluorescent antibody testing, or polymerase chain reaction. For management, admit the patient to hospital if they are very young, which is less than 6 months of age because there is a risk of apnea. Clear the upper airway of mucus and provide oxygen therapy. And the antibiotics are different based on the age groups. So if less than 1 month old can give azithromycin, clarithromycin or erythromycin. And for those more than 2 months old, can give TMX, which is a penicillin type of antibiotic. To prevent pertussis, there is the DTAP vaccine, and immunization will reduce pertussis by around 80 to 90 percent. For those people who are close contacts, they should receive a prophylactic antibiotics for five days, such as azithromycin, or seven to fourteen days of clarithromycin or erythromycin. So that's all for this video. Thank you.